Well, all new at 10. With the I-70 expansion, the street improvements in the National Western Complex, Northeast Denver is about to become one giant work zone. Now, who's making sure all that construction isn't trapping people in their own neighborhood? Well, Denver 7's Jackie Cray has spoke with a city councilwoman who's pushing the city to take on that responsibility. If you come over in this neighborhood right now, it's hard to get to anything. The cranes, the cones, and the plans for the future have community leaders worried for the 10,000 people in the Globeville and Elyria Swansea neighborhoods and for businesses along Brighton Boulevard. Imagine this I-70 project. You're going to see even more uh, disconnected residents from the rest of the city. We just can't have that. So we've got to be uh, focused on connectivity. The worry is that once the I-70 highway, the National Western, Center and other projects all get underway, street closures could literally trap people in their neighborhoods or close access in emergencies. Councilwoman at large Debbie Ortega is pushing for a point person to keep all the projects coordinated. Buses got to get kids to school. Emergency vehicles got to be able to get in and out. Employees need to get to their jobs. Take Brighton Boulevard, for example. The construction already brings traffic to a halt, and business owners in this area worry add in all those other projects, and it could really hurt them. You just can't go put the street in. So, yeah, I have tenants couple of them that have left. Larry Burgess has been a landlord on Brighton Boulevard for 40 years. How are their employees going to get here and how are they going to be able to move around? He hopes the city comes through with a plan. It's really, really critical for survival, really, of these communities, both for the residents and for the businesses, that all of this is coordinated in a way that you don't just leave it to chance. Jackie Crea, Denver 7. And Councilwoman Ortega is working with the group overseeing all the construction projects to make sure residents' concerns are heard.